Well, thank you very much. I think that uh, for, for us, um, in terms of the strategy that we've adopted for economic uh, transformation of this country, we see digitization as a major instrument uh, and enabler for transformation. And why do I say so? We've inherited a system, and Ghana is not the only country, I think it's very consistent across the continent. We've inherited a system that doesn't seem to work for the ordinary person on the street. There seems to be this disconnect between government machinery on the one hand and the lives of ordinary people on the other. And when you look at that system, you, you'd see that we have been living with problems uh, for a very long time since independence. We talk about a highly informal you know, society. We talk about a society without identity. We talk about a, a society where you don't have address systems that are functional, where you have financial exclusion and people don't have, a, where you cannot mobilize domestic revenue or taxation because it's difficult to do so. People don't file, properties are not taxed, and so on. So and you have a high interest rate environment. And so um, there is this system that we have you know, been dealing with since independence. And you, you, we pose the question, why is it after all these successive governments uh, that we've had since independence, after all the IMF programs and after all the World Bank programs and foreign aid and all of that, the system that underlies or underpins economic activity has remained the same or in some cases gotten worse. And so we thought that we needed to build a new system, a new system that works for the ordinary man, a system that addresses these very challenges that I've been talking about. And we thought that the digital path, the path through for, for digital transformation through digitization is the best way to do that. And, and, and so you are looking at how do you solve the problems of people in the rural areas, for example, who cannot get access to medical supplies because of where they live. Or you, you are talking about people who are um, trying to interact with government to apply for a passport, to apply for a driver's license, to, to, to get a business certificate for opening a business. Just the basic things that people have to deal with in a daily basis. Uh, you find that the system that we inherited worked more for the privileged, worked more for the elite. But if you can digitize many of these systems and put in the enablers to allow uh, more of these systems to be built, then you remove the human interaction and it, you don't need to know somebody who is a big person in an office to be able to apply for a passport or to be able to um, get a driver's license or get a scholarship uh, and so on, or go to the port and you have to pay a bribe to, 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 to do that. You need, we needed to essentially remove a lot of the human interfaces uh, so that we could deliver services to ordinary people uh, uh, devoid of corruption. Uh, and, and so you are trying to create more and more of an inclusive society. Uh, and this is what was the driving passion behind our governments uh, setting up digitization uh, as a major instrument for economic transformation.